Hello, this is just a quick update video. I have been posting weekly videos for my practice updates for learning Scarletti and also learning Mozart. And then it just stopped. I think I got up to maybe week six, something like that. And I um, got out of the habit out of recording my weekly videos. So my apologies if you've been coming back to the channel to see what, what's been going on. I have been practicing every week, but I simply haven't been recording. And I did actually wonder why. Uh, I asked myself why. And I think it was also because I was, I, I think maybe it's a little bit that I didn't really want to share what I was doing as I was progressing from week to week. Uh, as I finished one week, I then th wasn't satisfied with my, um, with where I had got to for my practicing. And I thought, oh, well, I'll just work on it for another week and then I'll post a video then. But then I think it's actually been maybe four or five weeks now. It's, it's been a very long time. So I um, this is like a little video uh, just to let you know that I will be starting to post videos again. I've been listening a lot to the recordings of how I should be playing Scarlatti and the Mozart and I've enjoyed listening to them. But in a way, I think this has made me a little bit impatient because as I listen to the music, I really want to be able to play at speed as, as they're playing and I want to play it properly. But of course, I'm still learning. So I'm coming up with um, hurdles of a difficulty with the fingering and some errors with timing. So this is why we have piano teachers and I am very grateful to the piano teacher that, that I have and um, I, he's able to pick up things that I know I should be doing or shouldn't be doing. But when I'm playing, I just, I just miss it. So it's, it's really helpful to have somebody else watching as, I, as I'm playing and, and able to help steer me in the right direction. Okay, goodbye.